Hi, this is Chris at SRQ Fishing Oasis again. Um, working on this same rod that I just showed you how to wrap. Um, I'm going to show you how to coat it. And you don't need a lot of equipment to coat it. You don't even really need this turner to coat it. I, I use a rod turner because I do a lot of rod repair and custom rods. But um, you can definitely do it at home without a turner. Uh, all you need is a five minute epoxy. Um, I use uh, Flex Coats 5 minute epoxy, but I've used uh, Loctite. You can buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart even. Some Walmarts have it. Um, and it's cheap and it, it works good. Um, if you do it right, you can't tell that it was done with 5 minute epoxy. Most, I mean, all custom rods are made with rod coat and it takes usually between 2 and 4 hours for it to cure. Um, but the 5 minute epoxy it only takes 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how you mix it. Um, I always mix even parts, so um, if I'm just doing one, one guide like this, even a double foot, I just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get it as close, close to even mixture as you can, um, you know, 50-50. So I just kind of eyeball it, get it as close as I can. I have plenty of time here, for, uh, and I've got the rod turner, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect here but if you don't want to be turning it all day if you're doing it by hand um, you know you definitely want to get it as close to 50 50 as possible I use popsicle sticks I even use them when I'm when I'm uh, doing custom rods a lot of times um, it works just as good no sense in buying expensive brushes when you can just use a popsicle stick or something and then you can throw it away afterwards so I mix this epoxy up really good and what you'll notice is that when you've mixed it up really good there's going to be a lot of bubbles in your mix um, you kind of disregard those bubbles because I'll show you how to get those out a little bit later um, it's really not a big deal so once you get it mixed up you kind of have to work fast with this because you don't have much work time maybe two or two minutes two and a half minutes at the most but after you've mixed it up you just want to kind of glob it on kind of spread it around a little bit. I hold the cup up underneath the uh, the rod so I can catch the drippings so I don't waste any glue. But you just want to kind of put a liberal coat on here. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'll show you how you how you can make it you know look glassy like it's supposed to look. And the rod I'm doing, it actually has a little bit of an under wrap on it here. A lot of older rods do have the under wrap. So I'm going to actually get a little on that under wrap because of where I cut the other guide off. There's some uh, bare thread there that I'm going to want to cover up. Okay. Once you've done that, go out and buy yourself a 50 cent lighter or whatever and you just run this lighter up underneath the epoxy and you'll start to notice the bubbles start coming out and you'll start the, the coat will start the five minute epoxy will start dripping and that just it's just excess coming off when you heat it up it thins the the epoxy and when it thins the bubbles will come out so you'll get that, you know, professional looking finish with five minute epoxy. Now I wouldn't recommend using five minute epoxy on a really high dollar rod. Um, just because it's, it's not as, it doesn't have the UV resistant um, quality to it so it'll it will turn yellow on you after a little while but I mean if you just got a cheap rod like this or something that you know something you don't really care about it, how it looks this will look fine it'll look professional and you don't have to pay much to get the look and that's about it